G'day, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm Rod. If it is your first time uh, with the pedal Picassos, please uh, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment in below, give us a like, subscribe. It all helps the channel. I'm going through the new X Trident again. I've been delving into this in the last couple of videos and I'm, I'm doing a bit of a catch up on the modulation module because I was still learning this unit and I was seeing things that I could edit with the down, free downloadable software um, that I didn't think I could I could edit or I hadn't found where to edit uh, on the hardware on the unit itself. So, um, modulation. So I've got a phaser going there with a diesel amp. <laughs> I couldn't find where to get the phasers and the Univibe on the uh, on the hardware unit itself. I'll go back to a clean amp, um, turn the delays off and things like that. Um, I'll go to a JC120. I'll turn my modulation and re uh, sorry my delay and reverb off, uh, and my boost, and we'll just have um, a listen to these modulation effects again. So. Scrolling through all our modulations, chorus ensemble. And then. Now that's really, really subtle because of where it's placed in the chain. I reckon if I put that before the amp. So that makes a huge effect as to where you actually have your modulation in the chain. Right. With this um, and the, the software, I was uh, able to scroll through all of the modulation options from the CE1 right down to the Univibe, um, through the phasers and the Univibe. And let's see how that sounds after the amp. Whack the intensity up and the volume. Quite a bit of wobble. What I couldn't find was on the use of, when you go to actually edit on the machine, on the machine, um, you select your module, in this instance modulations, and then you can select or, or select which modulation you want. Um, and when I was at the hardware configuration of chorus, I can get all the choruses and you can see them changing on the software here as I change the rotary dial and you can see them changing on the, on the hardware screen, although it's small. And I found I could only scroll to the detune. That's because I hadn't switched these options. So by switching down to tremolo, yes, you got the tremolo option. And then by switching down to phase, you get your phase 90, your four pole phase, and then your uni vibe. So that was my bad. All of them are quite, quite good uh, as far as emulations. So this is just a follow-up video to my modulation one to show that um, so far everything I've been able to edit with the software, I can edit with the hardware, of course. Um, and we'll deep dive into this in subsequent videos even further, the MIDI accessibility, um, writing patches and how to hopefully flexibly store patches uh, on the unit itself. Um, I know I've already copped some comments from people who say that there are some limitations, but we'll We'll um, dive into that and see where they are. But hey, thanks uh, thanks for tuning in again. Um, drop a comment. Let us know what you think. Um, I'll just go back to making some phase noise. <laughs>